Ripple is pretty confident that U.S. banks will start to use XRP for money transfers. Now that they have beat the SEC and the ruling is in that XRP is not in and of itself a security, will banks actually start to use it for international remittance? We're going to talk about that today. Welcome back to the Blockhash podcast channel. Let's talk crypto. Make sure to check out our sponsor, BNFT. They're revolutionizing education using DeFi methods and artificial intelligence, AI. Also check out our Patreon. We do chart analysis Monday through Friday if you want to see what's going on in the markets. All right. So Ripple believes pretty firmly that U.S. financial institutions will begin adopting XRP for cross-border transfers after the firm's partial win against the SEC last week. So uh, Mr. Alderati, the general counsel at Ripple, recently said that he expects U.S. financial institutions to show interest in using XRP for cross-border money transfers as they secured a mostly uh, win for Ripple last week against the SEC itself, um, the, where the court ruled that XRP offerings on secondary markets were not securities sales, such as like on exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, etc. Now, Ripple... Again, confident that banks and other financial service providers in the U.S. will begin adopting XRP in cross-border transactions. Um, the San Francisco-based blockchain solutions provider expects to open talks with U.S. financial firms and offer them its on-demand liquidity ODL product in Q3 of 2023. Now, Ripple's ODL offering uses XRP as a native token for money transfers. We are in Q3 as of right now. So will that take place? That's a good question. Uh, we all know that Bank of America has had ties to Ripple for a long time, SBI. Um, they've been doing a lot of work in Japan, in the Emirates. There's a lot of places where they've been working quite a bit. We even recently talked about uh, how here in Colombia, where I live, that Ripple has partnered with the Central Bank of Colombia to also work on a ODL project, maybe a CBDC. Uh, so the crypto token has rapidly, uh, sharply rallied on the news. Legal experts argued that the ruling still did not answer whether and when a digital asset should be designated as a security. Um, but I think it gave pretty good clarity because I think for most of the retail market and where people buy and invest in XRP, I think that's pretty much in the bag for us. Now, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple back in December 2020. For this reason, alleging that the company was conducting unregistered securities offerings. So I, I guess this kind of just follows up on. Oh, also, Ripple also obtained an approval to offer digital assets in Singapore. I believe we also chatted about that a few weeks back. Um, but Ripple primarily, for anyone that doesn't understand what the XRP token does as a native asset, um, it allows for remittances cross border within seconds, instantaneously, super fast. Um, makes the process super cheap, makes it uh, cheaper for banks, cheaper for you as a sender uh, when you're sending your money overseas, as well as potentially for micropayments, uh, potentially for interbank transfers. Uh, it, it's XRP is more or less, you can think of it as a bridge currency, uh, something that you convert to for this process. So if you wanted to send US dollars to Colombia, like where I live, like I do that all the time, I have to send US dollars down here to pay bills sometimes. Um, you know, it takes like four or five days for me to get my money. And if I want to send a wire transfer and try and get it same day, Monday through Friday, it's going to cost me like $45 plus whatever the exchange rate is. So imagine being able to lock in the exchange rate at an exact amount, probably better than what you can get being able to send it cheaply and instantly, that'd be great. It'd be fantastic. Um, where they take US dollars, they convert it to XRP, the XRP is transferred and then converted back to pesos. Um, that could be done for euros, Chinese yuan, you name it, anything. So that, that's the benefit of what Ripple has been trying to offer with XRP for a very long time now. And their ODL product is also something that um, might be very beneficial for a lot of players. They are also... Working on CBDC frameworks, a lot of countries are looking to do this and offer a sovereign digital currency for their nation to replace the fiat currency they, they already have. So uh, yeah, Ripple's also pioneering on that front. They've been doing it for a long time and they're ISO 222 compliant. For anyone that cares about that, it is important in terms of banking and the messaging system they use because they've private, previously used uh, the SWIFT messaging system. 
and they kind of still do. They're they're phasing that out slowly, but Ripple is one of those crypto partners that is involved, that is listed as compliant with um, ISO 222 to facilitate that stuff. So I'm very excited for where XRP is going. And I think now that they have the clarity and that they've you know, rocketed up in price, good things are going to happen. Um, so yeah, back on the 13th of July, just a week ago, actually not even a week ago, we had this massive spike when they won the case. All right, we've been tapering off. We've had a little bit of some some pukings in here, pullbacks, but it's been relatively flat. So on the 30 minute chart, on the one day chart, um, it actually looks even better. It, it's just consolidating, looking to find another break potentially to the upside, sitting here just above 70 cents at the moment. Um, <clears throat> and these moves are not comparable at all to where Ripple has been. We have a huge liquidity gap to fill all the way up to 85 to 90 cents. And I think we will fill that. We kind of did, but we didn't hold it. So I think XRP is going to head there pretty soon. And then from there, it's you know off to the races where it wants to go next. It's been as high as almost $2 back in 2021 it's been as high as like 350 i think back in 2017 late 2017 early 2018 um and hasn't had the same momentum in terms of development that it has achieved now so now that it is a legitimized company with a legitimized asset that banks really really want to use now <clears throat> the the price of ripple is going to just astronomically explode it's it's a matter of time, guys. Just a matter of time. Anyways, that's it for today. Make sure to like the video, comment your thoughts down below on Ripple and XRP and what you think uh, is, is coming next for XRP as a token, what's coming next for Ripple Labs as a company. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. You guys are the best. Talk to you tomorrow. Cheers.